Hello everyone, I'm Lauren and welcome to a review of the Aquarium Air Pump Kit from All Pond Solutions. This is the AP3 kit and as you can see it is a dual output which is important for me because I have numerous tanks but if you're looking for just one outlet then they do have a smaller version of this pump called the AP1.5 which is much the same in terms of design, it just has one outlet rather than two. In this review we're going to be taking a look at what you get in the box, how to set the pump up and how well it works, as well as its overall design and build quality. Straight away one of the things that really appealed to me about this kit is the fact that it comes with everything that you need, including the air pump itself, a power cable with UK plug, which is always nice to see, it's amazing how often these things come with European ones, a generous 4 meters of airline hose cut into two 2 meter sections, two non-return valves, that's the little valves that stop water from going back into the pump, two air stones and some instructions on how to set your pump up. The fact the kit comes with everything you need is a real bonus, a lot of brands don't even come with airline, never mind air stones. And that seems to be regardless of how much you pay, in fact if anything, the more you pay for a pump, the less it seems to come with. And first of all we need to get this little pump set up. So the AP3 is very easy to set up and first thing you're going to need to do is install the non-return valves that it came with. These can be installed simply by cutting the airline about four inches from the end that's going to be where the pump is. Insert the valve so that the black bit is pointing back towards the air pump and then attach the rest of the line onto the clear side of the valve. Do this for both sides and then to the other end of the airline you can attach the air stones and we are all set to go. You can plop these into the water, switch on the pump and we will see how well it does its job. Now my little test tank is only about 25 litres and that's just so that we can see clearly what's going on. The pump itself actually runs on 3 watts so it's only really small and it's nice and cheap to run but it still delivers 3 litres of air per minute which is perfectly adequate for a medium sized tank of say about 200 litres. As you can see, it produces quite a dense stream of bubbles, giving plenty of movement to the water in the tank. And this is using the full 2 meters of airline that it came with, and the pump itself is about a meter below it sitting on the floor at the moment. And as you can see, it's doing a great job. It's a surprisingly powerful little pump considering how small it is. If you want to turn down that pressure and flow, then the pump does have this little dial on the front to do so. And this is the pump running at full power. And this is it running at minimum. And I think we can agree that the difference between the two is negligible to the point of pointless. Might as well just have had one speed for this pump, it's really not going to make much difference if you play around with the dial. In terms of its build quality, it's okay. To be honest the pump itself is a nice heavy bit of kit that sits very solidly on a flat surface, it doesn't feel like it's going to vibrate itself off the edge of the table for example. And it does have these little squidgy feet on the bottom that are air filled from the feel of them. They're not the strongest little feet in the world, but it does feel like they've got enough give in them that they will reduce the vibrations from the pump and that should reduce the amount of noise that it's making. Other than that, the body is made out of a normal solid white plastic. It feels quite sturdy and like it's not going to break particularly easily and it should be good to last for a few years I would have thought. The airline is absolutely fine, it's just a flexible bit of hosing. And the return valves are a bit on the cheap side to be honest, being just plastic ones rather than having any of the metal inserts there's nothing special about them but they do the job they're meant to do. The air stones themselves are a good size being a couple of inches in length and they're about half an inch in diameter and they give a good wide area of bubbles although I have noticed the pump isn't quite strong enough to push the bubbles right to the end of both of them, there's a slight gap at the bottom which is a shame. At the end of the day this is a very basic little pump and the design is much the same to be honest. The white is understated and seems quite domestic, the black dial on the front does have writing on it to say which way makes the flow stronger or weaker but it's so small and being black on black you're never going to read it anyway. And considering the fact that it doesn't seem to change the flow you'll never use it neither. One thing I do really like about the design though is that they've added this little hook on the front. They know that people running these pumps all day, especially if you've got them in a bedroom or a living room, tend to prefer to hang them up just so that it doesn't vibrate against anything and cause a noise. Which of course brings us to the all important question, is it quiet? Here it is running on a table, 
Its little feet do quite a good job at reducing noise, but it is a fairly noisy little hummer and it has got quite a persistent buzz to it. Here it is on a towel. It's certainly a lot quieter compared to being on a solid surface, but certainly not silent by any means. And here it is hanging from its little hook. With no parts touching a solid surface, it's obviously going to be the quietest of them all, and to be honest though, it does still have quite a strong hum to it. But this pump doesn't claim to be silent, it claims to be quiet running, and it's definitely not going to be suitable for a bedroom having listened to it for the past 20 minutes. You could probably live with it being in a living room with you, but to be honest, confined to a fish room is probably going to be best for this little one. Overall though, I think this is a nice little air pump. I am pleasantly surprised with how well it runs and I have no doubt it will be strong enough to supply air to four very small tanks, which is going to be its job in my fish room. Some of its features are a bit pointless, like changing the flow, but to be honest, if you were looking for a very low flow for a fry tank, for example, then this was never going to be the pump that you would go for. It is much, much too strong for anything like that. And of course, on the plus side, it came with everything else that you need to set it up straight out of the box. No messing around, trying to find airlines and valves and all the rest of the gubbins these things need to run. It's just got what you need right there so you can get started straight away. And considering it only cost me £12, I think that is well worth the price. And it comes in at a solid, not bad, I would buy another one. Anywho though, I hope you've enjoyed this little review of the AP3 kit from All Pond Solutions. Happy fish keeping everyone, and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye!